So hi everyone, my name is Tony Hebden and I'm Vice President of um, HOR at AbV. And with me is my colleague and friend, uh, Peter Newman from Tufts University. Is there anything you'd like to say about yourself, Peter? Uh, no, thanks uh, for inviting me. I'm uh, the director of a research center at Tufts, uh, Tufts Medical Center. We focus on health economic issues and outcomes research. And I'm also a professor of medicine at Tufts University School of Medicine. So today we've agreed we're going to talk a little bit about value and real world evidence, particularly right. you know how it relates to healthcare because it's becoming a very interesting right. time. So yeah. let's start though by talking about value. Okay. It's used a lot. Um, tell me how you think sure, about value. Sure. Value in healthcare, as you well know, is a very fraught issue. Yeah. In most markets, you go into a store, you purchase an item, the value is reflected in what consumers are willing to pay for it. Yeah. Healthcare is different. You don't pay out of pocket when you go in for a surgery in the hospital or if, to the doctor's office. For the most part, you're, you have insurance. So the consumers are not facing the costs, nor are the consumers reaping all the benefits. Certainly the consumer the, or the patient receives maybe most of the benefits, but benefits also go to family members, to society at large. If a patient uh, gets better and goes back to work, there's economic benefits to think about. So both, both on the cost side and the benefit side, there are lots of issues to discuss, um, and it's not a simple transaction that the consumer or the patient has. So what we've seen are other people trying to measure value, and we have these so-called value assessment frameworks which have emerged to help payers, patients, clinicians think about value. Mm -hmm. They have different um, intended audiences, different methodologies, but they're all trying to uh, better understand the value of drugs, certainly, but also of devices, diagnostics, and health services in general. But value means different things to different people, sure. right? So let's talk about that for a moment. If I had you know, a bottle of water to mm -hmm, sell, mm -hmm. and I was in the desert, I could sell it for a, right. a much higher price <laughs> right. than right. if, you know, in a place where there was lots of bottles of water around right. me. And so, you know, the value therefore becomes different right. for that bottle of water, which is because you always say it must have a value. Right. But the point is it doesn't, right? I mean, sure. it has, it depends who you're talking right. to and they, how they define it. No doubt. I mean, value means different things to different people and different things in different contexts, to get to your point. Um, you and I may both have the same condition or disease, and we may be willing to pay very different amounts for a pill to treat our symptoms. Um, I may have disease X, you may have disease Y, whatever it is. I may have a migraine, you may have a rare disease, whatever. Um, we might think about value very differently in those circumstances. A little bit like you're, you know, the water is worth a lot more in the desert if you're thirsty than yep. it is maybe today if you're not. Um, so again, this is, this is endlessly challenging. And um, there are ethical issues here. Do we want everyone to have similar access to new technologies that work? There are economic issues. How much should we be spending patients out of pocket and society at large? There are social issues about um, you know, what we want the health system to look like. There are fairness issues and on and on. So this is, this is hard. Yeah. And, when, and of course, when we spend money on health care, we're not spending money on other things. So we're making trade-offs, uh, implicitly or explicitly. We want to spend money on education, on roads as a society, on all kinds of other needed services. But doing so means we don't have those resources for health care. Similarly, if we spend it on health care, you know, so um, these are just decisions that have to be made, and the value information is helping us understand what we're getting for what we're spending. It doesn't obscure or, or um, do away with these very, very hard issues.